November the 2nd, 2018, marked a very important date for us. It's been exactly one year since we've had horses. believe it's been a year since we got our very first horse it has been a year since we decided that we were ready to have a horse we wanted to buy a horse for our family for our girls to ride um we wanted to buy and then we got really nervous and then we decided to lease and that's when we found sabrina do you guys remember when we first got her and we tricked you guys we brought two horses to the barn at the same time and you guys didn't know who we chose until um we told you in a video um, I still remember it like it was yesterday when she pulled up in the horse trailer. So, which horse did we choose? true we chose her we chose her um you guys might remember the time when three weeks after we got her she colicked because the weather changed and um it was so scary it was such a scary time for us she wasn't even our horse and here she was colicking we're at the horse barn and before we even got here fiona messaged me and said she phoned the vet our oh, pretty girl poor girl She taught us how to be a horse owners because um, we started helping out at our barn a lot more and taking care of her and helping take care of the other horses. She taught us how to um, take care of the barn and take care of the horses and feed them. Just fill it up and fine. So am I doing this green one? Look at it quick before the other horses come in. Alright. They're going to fit again. the wrong halter on? <laughs> Got a tiny halter on? <laughs> Made a mistake, it doesn't fit that horse, that's for sure. Do you guys remember all the mistakes he made? Of course you do. <laughs> um, do you guys remember the times when she never wanted to leave her friends in the field and no matter what we would do, we could not get her up to the barn for our lessons and we ended up being late for our lessons all the time? <laughs> No, you gotta go back and you gotta use the, the lead rope. No. No. 
Don't pet her if she's doing something wrong. Come on. And don't look back at her. I should be over here. No. Try now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Her horse is a dud. Get her off balance. Yeah. Good girl. God. Don't turn around and face her. Ben, help us. I just want to cry. Come on. Come on. We figured that out and we learned so much from her. Sabrina taught us so many things. She taught Sophia to canter for the first time. She taught me to canter for the first time. Um, Sophia even did her very first jump on Sabrina. I will always be so grateful for her. She was the horse that started it all. The horse that taught us everything. We're supposed to tell her that we love her. Because she's supposed to know and understand. I can feel my way to you. It doesn't matter which way I'm facing, I'm never replacing you. And no matter where we go, I'm always beside you. It's true. You know I would die for you in a heartbeat. I'd stay. Then we moved on to looking for another horse for Gabby. What a struggle that was. It was such an adventure though. And we ended up getting Storm. Storm, her heart horse, her, the love of her life. I had no idea when we bought that horse what it was gonna be like between the two of them. Just seven months later, those two are such a team and I'm so grateful for that boy. You have no idea. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you can't turn around. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> He's right there. He's like, don't forget about me. I'm right there. There's Storm and Sabrina over there. Hey, buddy, do you know where your people? Look, there's your girl. Come on. Okay. He's like, oh my gosh, that's my girl. <laughs> Look at him going. <laughs> it looks like Gabby, you match him without even trying. You totally match. Um, it was a struggle at the beginning as well. Like the, it, it takes a while, it takes a while for horses to settle in. Before we got horses, I thought that it was all about um, you just go pick them up and you bring them to your house and you jump on and it's nothing like that. There is so much more that goes into having a horse. Um, there's so much more involved in horses, stuff I didn't even know before. Um, they are full of emotion. They have. Um, likes and dislikes just like every other animal and they are so smart finally we were ready to get another horse for sophia and we did um she was not what we thought we were going to get but when we saw her we knew we knew in our hearts that she was the right horse for us and she's brought along her very own struggles that we are working through and in some ways i feel like she's taught us more than all the other horses combined she's been a dream an amazing amazing horse and i cannot wait to see what our future holds with her we're at the barn we're so excited via standing here she's getting she's got her her brush box down here because we're not hey, taking her out let's just go all right let's just right you guys this is our horse you guys they nobody's seen her yet for me hi <laughs> Hi, Mom. sweet girl. Mom, can I use this girl? I'm brushing her. Look, you got lots of hay left. All right, you guys. This is Zara. But we haven't quite decided on a name yet. Stella. Uh, star. Hello. 
She has a big, she looks like she has a big head, but it's a normal size head. Mom, she's so small. Oh. Yeah, she looked tiny compared, after I was watching um, Bex there, I'm thinking, wow, she's kind of small. She's 15 too. And she's getting some shoes on soon, so she'll be a tiny bit taller. Gabby, don't, Sophie, don't you want to like say hi to her? Or you just walk in and start brushing your horse? We go. You do that something to me. You do that something to my heart. I give up. Feel me stop. I'm like a spinning top. You do that something to me. You do that something to my heart. I give up. You don't stop. Do me. Do that to me. So let's do this, baby. You do that something to me. You do that something to my heart. I give up. You don't stop. I'm like. Every horse has brought us new adventures, new lessons, new learning, new things to accomplish. And then this summer was our very first summer with horses. And we were able to accomplish so many riding goals that we wanted to do. We got to go camping with our horses. We got to go swimming with our horses. There we go. Hold on, I'll take him. You got it. Come on. Come on, you got it, sir. Come on, you got it. You've done it a lot of times. Come on, it's just a bridge. <laughs> You're okay. No, it's a water bridge. <laughs> there you go. Come on, Mom. <laughs> I thought he'd go on his own. Oh my goodness, and there's Stella and Sophie up there. There you go. <laughs> He's still afraid. Shaking. Good pony. Oh yeah, he's shaking. Oh good boy. Be a little brave to take a look around you. How far can you see? How far do you think you can run? Standing on your own knees. It's a beautiful world out there. Just don't pass on the dare. If you have the will and something we need it's a leap of faith a step away from the comfort zone and be a little brave been an incredible journey a journey that i would wish for every single person who loves horses and that wants to have a horse because it changes you it changes your life it changes who you are it changes how you respond to stress and to animals and um it is such uh, an amazing endeavor like i never want to go back i never ever want to go back to that person that i was before we owned horses it, it's been an incredible journey an amazing journey and it's just been one year i feel like we lived an entire life in one year um i'm so excited to see what this next year brings for us and to share with you guys um probably another horse hopefully a farm of our own um we want to try a couple of fun things this winter with our horses <laughs> that we weren't able to do before. But thank you so much for following our journey, for being a part of us, because without you guys, there would be no us. You guys have taught me the most out of anybody else. So thank you again so much for following this journey and helping us celebrate one full year of having horses.
and don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.